I have seen the first three episodes, and my yeah. only comment is F you for not giving me four through six. Sorry. Because sorry. I would really like to see where this is all going. I mean, They're it was designed that way, right? <laughs> this is sort of like an old serial where, you know, it's really propulsive. Uh, the episodes are like 35 to 40 minutes. They play very quickly. And then we try to hook you at the end and push you. But the that's next. the problem. Yeah. You have hooked me. Good. And then it's like the dopamine. It worked. Hit, you know? It uh, worked. Yeah. So um, before I, I, I have a million yeah. questions for the show, but I, I know I'm going to run out of time in two seconds. So I want to know, and we're just going to start. Uh, so what you are in post-production on the movie you've just shot. That's right. Do you already know what you're doing next? No. We're no. in that yeah. we're in that place where we're developing several things. And uh, you know, there's a potential looming writer strike. There are things that could affect uh, timeline. Uh, but um, uh, we're going to uh, develop the, these different projects and then make a decision. Yeah. It, it, ask us this summer. I have a feeling like this summer we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, when will I see footage from Electric State? Oh boy, I don't know. I mean, it's a Electric State is a very visual effect heavy movie, um, so it's 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 a it's a slow one. Ninety percent of the yeah. characters are CG, yeah. so it is a it's going to take a little time to bake it. So basically, summer of twenty twenty four or beyond. I think basically, that's probably yeah. a fair yeah, I think fair that's estimate. It. Yeah, exactly. Um, so one of the things jumping into the show, one of the things that I really am looking forward to is that you're doing different versions in other countries. You know, you have one in India, you have one in Italy. Um, I'm curious, this obviously with, with the American version, the first episode has movie style action mm -hmm. uh, on a television show. Yep. Will the other countries have that kind of amplification? You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's big and propulsive. I mean, yes, I think that, you know, the ambition is large for all the shows, but we don't want that to become a you know, the dominant uh, um, driving factor behind the show. Somebody could come to us and pitch an idea that takes place in a, one room for seven episodes and, you know, it, it, it could be incredibly compelling. That should be the opportunity f from these uh, uh, regional shows is to shift tone, to shift scale, to go in directions that we're not expecting so that they're all just not, a, a, you know, a, a replicant of each yeah. other. I mean, the, the, the common theme is that it all it is all set in the spy world, right? It's all there's all an element of spy thriller to all the shows, but we are very much trying to find the variety of ways we can explore that stylistically and narratively. The first season is six episodes. Right. Which of the six episodes are you most looking forward to audiences seeing? I think that sixth episode. And that's, you know, it's great about the show is that it was designed like, you know, an onion, you're peeling back the layers of it. And, uh, you know, we use these twisting shots throughout the show just to represent, you know, when when the narrative is upside down and that you can't, you know, you, you don't you can't trust anything that you see. And I think it goes to a really powerful climax. Yeah, that's what your lead actors said. Yeah. It was like episode six, yeah. which is why, of course, I haven't seen it. Yet. I'm, yeah. I'm going to keep teasing you on this. <laughs> um, what are you at? One of the things talk a little bit about the first episode, though, because I was very impressed. It is a movie style action set piece on a TV show, and I know how hard those are to pull off. Very so, difficult, yeah. yeah. so talk a little bit about, uh, make. why did you want the first episode to have an action set piece like that, and also talk about filming it? Well, you wanna, you wanna announce yeah. the show out of the gate. You want to, you know, grab the audience quickly. And that was always the intention uh, uh, with the show, is that it would have cinematic scale to it. Um, and Amazon's been incredible about supporting the show and supplying the right res resources, infrastructure to do that. Um, but, uh, but, you know, the, uh, and also, you know, we like playing in genre We make, we, you know, we, we don't, uh, um, mince words in that regard. We grew up loving genre and the way that we play in it is that we present it to you as you know it, and then we try to slowly subvert it or add emotion to it or surprise you, uh, um, playing against, you know, your expectations. And uh, I think the show does that really well. So the setup at the beginning is to make you feel like you are in a traditional large scale global spy thriller. And then as it as it unfolds, we twist uh, we twist the narrative on you and take you to places you're not expecting. I don't know if you want to add anything. No, I mean, I mean, that, look at it again. Part of it is just trying to to up the ante with what's possible outside of a theater, you know. Sure. One, I'm curious. So you go in and you pitch with Amazon and you're talking about the show. How much do they want to know? Well, if it, you know, assuming everything is great, which they're obviously investing a lot of money in this, 
um, that you have the plan already for season two, season three. You sort of know where you're going. And how much is it sort of like, well, you guys have a good track record. I mean, look, that, that was one of the amazing things that we have such a long relationship with Jen Salky. We have a very high level of trust with her. So she could call us with a with a, basically a business model of like, hey, Amazon has this global reach. We have amazing uh, uh, presence in, in so many markets around the world. Like, can you come up with a narrative that would use creative teams throughout the world in an interconnected way, collaborative way? Like, that was it. She could throw that idea to us. And it was our job to come up with a story that was worthy of that kind of a, a format, you know? So that's really been our process with Amazon from the beginning. Uh, it's just coming to them with story. And look, while there is a really high concept, clever concept at work here, it's like when we did the Marvel films, it's the same thing. You're learning as you go. You sort of, you're beating ideas as you go. So for as much as we know about where things are going, we're constantly reinventing where things can go at Plus, the same time. Italy and India are different timelines. You want to be available to how they may affect or change the show. We have loose ideas of where this is all going. But you, you have to stay organic and fluid. What is the status of a second season of Citadel? Nothing confirmed yet. Everything's in the audience's hands at this point. We'll, we'll find out in a, you know 10 days or a week or whatever it is from now. I am, I'm going to go back to the beginning of this interview. When you said you had a few things you're thinking about, is it like two? Is it three? Is it like, how, are these projects you've been developing for a while? Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Just like Electric State, we're, we're in a phase now where... We are, uh, when we started Agbo a few years ago, we went to work with Marcus and McFeely, sort of doing a deep dive on some original um, storytelling. And um, The Electric State was kind of part of that effort. It's, it, it was a complicated story to figure out. It took a lot of years to figure it out. So what we're dealing with right now is the stuff that we've invested a few years in and we've been playing with for a while now. And we're, you know, and it's, it's generally more complicated, uh, elaborate world building and was, that takes time to develop. So that's kind of what we're playing with, you know. That. There's some long form stories that we're working on as well. It's nice to, you know, we spent our career jumping around from comedy to drama, TV to film. Uh, um, and, and we like to uh, surprise ourselves with what we do next. And there's a couple of long form ideas that, that could also make sense. On that note, I'm just going to say send me episodes four through six and have a good day.